What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwid, and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. And today, this video is coming thanks to London RTR. If you guys do not have a subscription to his channel yet, please go over to his channel. It is London RTR. I will leave a link in the description below. And also, I'm going to pop up an annotation here. Please click on this. Go subscribe to his channel if for whatever reason you somehow stumbled upon my channel without coming to London's. But the reason that I'm actually doing this video is because London was lucky enough to pull the Ultimate Legend Deion Sanders card and he actually was nice enough in addition to that to allow me to use him to put together some gameplay for you guys and do an actual review on this card for you. So as you can see here based on the attributes on the back this card is in my opinion, the best coverage player in this game, period. He's got 102 speed, which is absolutely incredible. 103 man coverage, 101 zone, 99 press, which is awesome for Dion. Uh, his first card didn't have great press. And also 100 play recognition with 99 awareness. So what you are going to see here is some gameplay highlights. And this is coming from mostly from solo challenges. I did actually do some head-to-head -head seasons games as well where I tested out Dion. Although it's a little bit harder than you guys might imagine to get actual gameplay footage with cornerbacks. Because basically the opposing quarterback has to throw the ball at him for you to be able to see uh, whether he reacts correctly to it or not. So it's kind of tough, but you know, it is what it is. It took me quite a few games. I think I did like nine games with him to assemble just these clips. So, you know, that's something to think about a little bit. Um, it, it is one thing to consider that uh, this card is actually good enough where I think a lot of people aren't throwing to it on purpose or throwing at it, I should say. So that's kind of an advantage. Um, there aren't a lot of cornerback cards that scare people away, but this is definitely one of them. And uh, as you see with that interception there, there's a big reason why, because this card is actually good enough that sometimes he will come off of covering another player in man coverage and still make an interception. Even if the ball is where, right where the quarterback wanted it to go like it was there, he still made that pick. So um, very, very great in coverage. Uh, I wish that for some reason it doesn't seem like he gets as many interceptions uh, as I would expect him to. He does have pretty good catching attributes at 95. This is a quote unquote hidden attribute, but um, as you see him get another interception there. But the, the 95 catching is only accompanied by an 80 catch in traffic. So I think that's part of it. Not that that's a horrible number for a cornerback by any means. It's still pretty darn good. But it, it's not going to be as good as uh, like a wide receiver in, in uh, catching a pass. So, you know, it's not that amazing at getting turnovers. But as you can see here, he does get interceptions from time to time. And uh, probably more than any other quarter or cornerback that you would have anyway. So... I really do love this card. I think it's, it, like I said earlier in the video, I think it's very clearly the best coverage corner in the game. So, you know, if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for a guy who can play in man coverage or zone coverage, uh, this is the one for you. And as you see there, he actually did get injured for me in a game, so I wanted to throw that in there. Uh, his injury, injury attribute is a 92, though, so I don't expect him to be getting injured that often. But, you know, just because it happened, I wanted to throw it in there and scare London a little bit. <laughs> So <laughs> I did put an injury card back on him though before I gave him back to London. Don't worry. So um, moving on though, I, I did want to get into just a couple of things where I think this card wasn't that great. Uh, the 57 tackle combined with the 60 hit power is pretty mediocre, especially when you've got other cornerbacks like Rod Woodson and uh, Night Train Lane and those kind of cards that can not only play good in coverage, but also make great hits on the run. Uh, the other thing is that this Deion Sanders card is very mediocre with only a 53 strength. That is not good. This card does get pancaked a lot. Um, it only has a 40 block shed as well. So it is not good against the run. Now, the 57 tackle that I mentioned before, I, I haven't really noticed that in the games that I played because when he actually got to the opposing running back, typically he was able to make the tackle or at least slow the guy down enough that my other guys made the tackle so it wasn't that worrisome to me. But the, the fact that he gets run over so easily by the good blocking wide receivers in the game is a bit of a concern to me. And that's one of the reasons that I think maybe this isn't quite as good of a card as you might think it is. Uh, again, don't get me wrong, the coverage attributes, which is what you look for in a cornerback, are incredible. And you're not going to find better. I, I 
don't think they're going to put out a better cornerback card th than this until the next year's Madden. So this is going to be as good as it gets in terms of coverage. But like I said, in the run, he's not so great. If you're playing against a, a, an opponent who runs the ball a lot, like if you're playing against me, you do not probably want to have this Deion Sanders on the field because I'm going to put my Donald Penn card over there and he is going to run his ass over every play, play after play after play. He's just going to put him on his ass. And even if you don't have a card like Donald Penn, even if you're using like the final edition Alshon Jeffrey or um, a Josh Gordon or a Brandon Marshall or something like that, somebody who's got decent run blocking and uh, a quality strength attribute, they're going to do a really good job of pancaking Deion Sanders. So that's something to definitely think about. Overall, I would give this card still probably like a 9 out of 10 um, because the coverage attributes are just so out of control. He's just amazing. But unfortunately, I wish that I could give him the 10 out of 10, but the fact that he's just so bad against the run makes him pretty tough to give the perfect 10 out of 10 to. So overall, very, very good card. I would definitely recommend it if you have the coins and you are and you find yourself playing against a lot of people who throw the ball, this is the card for you without question. It's amazing. So go out there and get it. But at the same time though, it's going for what? A million coins basically on most of the consoles still. So, you know, if, if you don't have a million coins, like most of us don't, uh, I don't know that this card is going to be worth it for you to invest money into uh, and, and then purchase it with cash or, um, you know, get all kinds of coins by selling the rest of your team to just get this one Deion Sanders card. Still, though, an amazing cornerback card. I definitely enjoyed playing with it. Thank you again to London RTR for allowing me to borrow it. This is the second card that he has allowed me to borrow. So um, big shout outs to him. Thank you guys for all, all the views that you've given me. I actually did just surpass 7,000 subscribers earlier today. So I do appreciate all the support that you guys have given to me. It really does mean a lot. And we're going to keep moving forward to 10,000 subscribers and beyond. Thank you again for watching this video. If you did like it, make sure you press that like button below. And don't forget to leave a comment. If you guys have played against this Deion Sanders card or with it, let me know what you guys think of it as well. I'm interested in hearing what you guys have to say. Thank you again. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.